welcome back everyone to another video uh, and in this one we will take a look at how to get multiple usb camera streaming to your 96 boats consumer edition uh, i'll be running debian linux and this should pretty much work for uh, any other distribution so uh, we have uh, three logitech c20s connected over a usb hub to the dragon board 410c and you can see them right here uh, with ls usb i have the three logitech webcam c uh, 270s so these are 720p uh, webcams and we are going to stream them so uh, to stream them parallelly three of them streamed at the same time uh, we need to first start with updating our uh, aptitude repository so sudo apt and update and that should take a few seconds once that is done we can install a couple of packages that we'll need we are going to use vlc along with v4l utils uh, that would allow us to stream uh, all three of the webcams this should take a few minutes to install all right so with that done uh, let's see how we can stream just one uh, camera how it's done normally so we have vlc and then v4l2 and so with that command so we uh, vlc v4l2 colon uh, double slash dev slash video zero we will be streaming for from our first camera and this takes a second to initialize everything uh, and make sure you have triple slash there okay so it looks like v4l2 zero and v4l2 one are uh, kind of a dummy uh, interfaces which are saved for the d3 camera mezzanine so keep that in mind your any usb camera that you plug in in the default debian build starts from v4l2 2 uh, and onwards so in this case we have three webcams that would be going from uh, video 2 video 3 and video 4 video 0 and video 1 are uh, it seem to be uh, that they are uh, reserved for the d3 camera mezzanine so we have uh, it streaming right now so that is my hand right there and uh, we can go and try the other two cameras similarly uh, so we have video 3 there and that's the second camera and then we have video 4 which is our third camera so let's wait for a second and there it is a different perspective so once we close that out let's see what happens if we try to stream two cameras and at once and what problem there are and why this guide is much needed so i have started to stream the first camera or in this case the third camera and then i'll change it to the second camera as well but uh, as you can see that there is no space left on the device there are errors right there in the command line window window down there and we are still streaming with just the one camera uh, here the reason is we are doing it over a usb hub and uh, the way webcams work is that they transfer raw uh, data uh, uncompressed data and it's the job of the renderer or, or in this case vlc to compress it but we are not sending any commands for vlc to compress it so it just shows us whatever it's getting through the usb uh, and you, although the usb 2.0 hub has a max bandwidth of 60 uh, megabytes per second uh, it's not enough for two cameras with raw data uh, there is some level of compression involved but still a single usb 2 bandwidth cannot support two cameras that are just sending raw data directly from the webcam in this case what we do is to try and compress that so we are going to add a mjpeg compression so the way you do it is in front of your command so vlc before l2 and then your video device you add chroma uh, equal to mjpeg uh, and this would uh, reduce 
your um, bandwidth because it's now compressing in mjpeg format so let's wait for a few seconds that is our first camera streaming stuff here uh, yeah, there will be some errors here but seems all good now let's go ahead and open up a fresh terminal uh, tab and do it for the second one so so even with that it looks like there is still no space left on the device or on our USB um, bandwidth so let's compress it even more and now we will go into uh, reducing the resolution a, a bit so I am going to go ahead with uh, my camera number one and reduce the resolution to 640 by 480 and that should in fact um, give us much more bandwidth so that is there and we have it streaming on uh, one camera now what we do is go ahead open up a new tab and do the same for our second camera so now we have camera number two uh, or video three and now we can see that we are streaming from two separate cameras uh, just as well and this is my hand on the first camera and on the second camera so those two look pretty good and now we can try with the third camera as well and let's see if we have enough bandwidth let's try this out and as you can see we can stream with three cameras uh, without any issue just by reducing uh, the resolution a little bit so here we have camera one of two and three all with a different image so uh, thank you so much for watching hope this was informative and would help you all with your, your projects and um, again we have details in, detailed instructions linked in the description take a look at that as well and thank you for watching